In this video, we're gonna talk about how to hit a hard pack turn versus a soft turn. What's up everyone? Tyler here at the MX Factory in beautiful Austin, Texas. Man, the weather's good. Is the weather good, Jason? You back there? It's so cold Jason? back here. It's so oh, cold. Oh, he's got goosebumps. I'm feeling great. It's very common to find both dirt surfaces, or however you want to call it, on one racetrack or one practice track or one riding area. It's nice to know how you need to change your riding style up to navigate both correctly. The first part that we're gonna talk about is how you sit on the bike. And really what we mean by this is how we weight the wheels and get traction to the tires. Okay, for a hard back turn, we've gotta create that traction, we've gotta create that su support into the ground a little more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoot to the outside edge of the seat, put a lot of pressure into that outside foot and act as if we're pushing the inside of the knobbies into the ground with our body weight. Whereas a softer turn or like what you're gonna see here, more of a loamy berm slash rut, you've got a little support there so you can scoot your butt to more towards the middle of the seat and let the berm or the rut be the support. You're trying to push weight down into something that has a little bit of a lip to it so you're putting weight into that. So you're kind of pushing weight down the middle line of the bike where you need to get weight to the inside on a hard pack turn, you're pushing weight on the outside of the bike down towards the ground. The second piece of this is how do we lean in these two turns? And there is quite a bit of difference, right? In a hard pack turn, you don't have much room to lean the bike over very far. A couple things that helps arcing your turn and making that hard pack turn as wide as possible. A lot of times when you get into the soft stuff, the berm is there and it's guiding you around. So you're able to lean the bike over and you know that once you lean the bike over, that you're gonna have to give it a little more throttle to pull out of that. Whereas a hard pack turn on the other hand, you just barely want to turn the throttle on because we do want to gain speed coming out of the corner, but we don't want to break the back wheel loose and start to slide the back end out. The third thing is going to be how much throttle do we apply and when. Okay, for a hard pack turn, like I said previously, we just want a little bit of throttle. We always want to be thinking on hard pack dirt, how do we create traction? How does our human body create traction? Because we can't rely on the dirt anymore. And just the opposite, on the softer turn, we need throttle to pull us out of that loam, to pull us out of the sand because we are kind of working against the earth now. Where the earth is trying to slow the bike down, we need a little heavier throttle to get ourselves in and out of that when we are in a heavier lean. So the timing of the throttle in the corners is sometimes a little different too. We know that on the hard pack dirt, we're working against the tire sliding out from under, so it's sometimes more important to carry more momentum in and get on the gas as the bike's starting to kind of be more upright. So we don't take the chance of pushing the front end or sliding the back end out from under us. Whereas in the turns that are softer, that have a berm and have some support, we're able to get on the gas earlier in that because we know we have something to guide us out and that's gonna create the speed down the straightaway that we're looking for. Thanks for watching guys. We actually have a free video gift down below. Just click the link. You're gonna go to our email, sign up for our email list and it'll come right to you. More videos over here. Like and subscribe. And in our Instagram down below, we post weekly tips. Check that out too. Our Instagram, bro. Check it out. <laughs>